Hi friends, today we are going to solve log balance problem of the Grady algorithm. This is quite an interesting problem and I really love this problem. So basically it states that Lena is preparing for an in important coding competition that is preceded by a number of sequential preliminary contests. Initially her luck balance is zero. She believes in saving luck and wants to check her theory. Each contest is described by two integers. Li and Ti. Li stands for luck and Ti is for importance, I guess. Yeah. Li is for luck and Ti is for importance. So you could say for Lina, she can lose all the unimportant contest. But for the important contest, there would be a minimum number of k values. The minimum number of contest, important contest that she could lose. Okay, so basically our approach would be have to make sure that Lena gets as much luck as possible by losing as much contest as possible, which is kind of a contradictory statement, but can't help it. Even I also used it during coding competition. Generally, if it's not important to win, if it's an, if how to say it, if it's a normal round, means if it's for the purpose of familiarity with the coding or the platform. So generally for me, it, the important goal was not to win that com contest, but to understand how to work in that platform. So this is the basic idea. So first, the output format would be similar to this. And we, you would be getting the output the contest value would be some contest values in this format. It is an instead array, which each individual elements contains the luck that she can gain by losing that contest. And one stands for important and zero stands for not important contest. N is the total number of contests that she will have to give. And K is the number of important contests that she could lose. So first, you create two array, two list. One would be important contest, and another would be not important contest. So once we have done that. So our job would be to segregate these values as we could see it's in a form of a nested value, which would be making our uh, calculation difficult. So I would like to segregate individual values and keep those important contests in a different uh, list variable altogether. And I will initialize the log value as zero. And for each in each in contest of um, spelling error. Always check for the spelling errors because this could be a problem. And if it's not an important contest, it would automatically become a not so important contest to win. This is the basic idea. Once you have done that, so our job here becomes quite interesting. So I would expect Lena to win to lose all the not important contests. That's forgiven. She would lose it. But here she what here I will be doing is important contest equal to we'll sort the important contest in descending order so 
what I have done that I have taken the most important contest and sorted them. So once you have sorted that, the important contest value would become eight, five, two, and one. This is the important contest value. Before it was like before sorting the values would be present in two one and eight so now i have sorted it so here the problem statement says that she can do three contest right so what i will do is that i will create a sum till the number of contests that she could lose and so for example i will sum all these three I will sum all these all these three and I will sum all the not so important contest that she would she um, that is not required for her to win to maximize her luck and the number of contests that she cannot lose is the last one which is contains the least amount of luck so I will just subtract it so this is the basic idea luck equal to sum of as i said that she can lose all the not so important contest then sum of important contest but here also she could lose at most k k number of values or in this case is yeah k number of values so this is the amount of important contest that she could lose and whichever contest she wins is automatically going to deduct that amount of luck from her so it would be sum of the rest values so okay, i hope you understand the python syntaxing slicing and dicing so for example if i explain this so if k let's take this example k is the variable so k of 3 would basically same as 8 5 and 2 and k of 3 to the end this in syntax when the integer value is not specified means the starting from the starting to value of three so this is the zeroth index one and second so as i said it is till three and it says that from three to end whichever value is present there would be equal to one so this is the basic idea and return luck I hope this isn't required. Let's run the code. As you could see, it passed all the test cases. We have passed all the test cases. So we have basically solved the problem. And as I always say that if you have a better approach, please comment below. Tell me the best approach, the most easiest way to solve this problem. And if you're if you're able to solve this uh, problem in an even lower complexity, if with a lower time complexity, tell me the approach. Please comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. As and stay tuned for, for the next video.